happen when I'm live. All right, okay. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Goddess of Made by Mutiara and today we are going to be doing this Mother's Day card and I hope that you enjoy watching how I do the whole process from beginning to end. I believe it's very beginner friendly so if you have brush pens and things with you, you can join along as I show you how I make this card. So without further ado, let me know if you are live in the chat where you are watching from and if you are watching the replay, let me know in the comments as well. So first things first, we need a 5 by 7 paper. So this is something that I cut out and the paper that I use is, can, is the Canson watercolour paper. I realised the mic was pointing the wrong direction. I'm going to turn it. There you go. Okay, that's the only last thing that I have to do. Put on background music. Let me know if the music is too loud. I see... Banzaika from Russia, hello! The Right House from India, hello! And Angela from Singapore, yay Singapore, hello! <laughs> so the first thing that we're going to do is to sketch out our design. So what I like to do is to draw guidelines first, just to make sure that everything is centre. And then I'm going to letter the word mother. Mothers, sorry, Mother's Day. So mother, see second time round, I'm feeling a bit more chill with the lettering already so that's a good sign all right so this is a mother's so the way i see if it's centralized is if the space on the left and the right are about the same size and this is a bit smaller so in order to compensate for it i'm just gonna do this bloop. okay there you go so then it looks more or less equal with each other the next thing i'm gonna do is to write the words hello Draw the lines just to make sure that your writing is straight. The words happy and day will be in block letters. So I'm just going to happy Mother's Day. So this part I don't uh, really mag, um sorry, I don't really mind if it's not straight because this part of the block letters is supposed to be like a bit whimsical, like you know, like it is supposed to look like a uh, handwriting. And that's the charm about doing handmade cuts, you know, like the handwriting is really the touch that makes it very unique. All right. And then after this, I'm going to erase it using my kneaded eraser. And this is such a handy tool. If you have it, you can use it. If not, the normal eraser will be fine. But what I do is to roll it over the pencil so that it's slightly lighter and doesn't, it's not visible at the end of the day, you know, like you don't want to see let people know that, hey, I forgot to clean up the pencil lines. So I'm going to leave it here. You don't want to do that, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to lightly brush it. You can still sort of see it. And for me, I usually go even much lighter than this. But I think for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to leave it a little darker. And yeah, next thing we're going to do. Oh my gosh, this is the next step that we were not able to go to just now. <laughs> but here we are. Um... I'm going to brush letter the word mothers using a normal Tombow dual brush pen, black color. And okay, this one, I cannot talk because I want to focus and make sure the lettering is nice, okay? Awesome. Okay, I'm happy with this. <laughs> Ooh, can you see my first upstroke is like <laughs> okay, but it's okay. I'm just gonna slowly repair it and make sure that it's nice and consistent. Oh, there was an ad on my background music. Let me know if the background music is too loud. I can turn it down. It's just so that I, you know, it's supposed to give me chill vibes. The the title of the video that I'm playing in the background is Animal Crossing Lo-Fi Chill Hot Mix. So if you're interested, I'll put that link after the stream is done. And the next thing we're going to do is to write the block letters happy. And something that I like to do is because sometimes I'm afraid that the... Uh, yeah, it's smudged already. <laughs> but if you're afraid of smudging, then usually just put a piece of paper on top and then just... 
protect it from getting any further smudges. So I like to go in with the bullet pen first. Just so I can see if I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. And then I usually also go in with a small brush pen. Because I think small brush pen is like the perfect thickness when it comes to plot letters. For me at least. So I'm just going to... Then I'll adjust the length if I need to. And it's okay if it's not perfect. Like I said, that's the beauty of handmade cards. It's not supposed to be perfect. And at the end of the day, it's handmade, you know? So that is something that people will definitely appreciate if it's handmade. And then they... Woohoo, okay. We're making progress. Awesome. All right, so this is the black lettering that you have to do for this card, very simple. Of course, if you don't know how to do lettering, feel free to just either copy my lettering or you can just use like normal handwriting to do the lettering. That's completely fine. Next thing I'm going to do is very carefully mold my eraser to create a very fine tip and then very carefully erase as much of the pencil lines as I can. Again, try not to smudge. That is something that I still struggle with, not smudging as we can see. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. I, I'm also looking up at the comments and trying to see what's happening in 10.51 p.m. in India, 8.21 p.m. in Russia. Oh, wow. Yeah, your, I didn't realize your time zones are much closer than us over here. What time is it here? This is 11.25 a.m. in Central Time in Illinois, USA. And if you're wondering, I'm not from the US, I'm from Singapore, but I moved here in 2019. So I've been here for two years, almost two years, coming 1st of May. And it's been amazing because I get to experience winter. That's been one of my highlights as well as fall. And okay, I'm not going to be too pressed about the pencil lines. I'm going to carry on. All right. After this, we are going to do the outline, okay? This is the outline that will create that like die cut effect with your lettering. So this is more or less freehand. I'm just using based on my eyesight. Uh, I usually try to start at the top here. Excuse me. I usually try to start at the top here and then try to create a border of roughly the same thickness throughout. Because later on, when we use the washi tape, we want to make all the nice shapes. We'll just try to follow the silhouette. Mm, okay. Do I have any foster cats around with me right now? I only have Stoli with me right now. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my Insta stories, but Tina is off with another foster family because we want to see if the two cats can be adopted individually. So at first, when they came to our household, they were supposedly bonded cats. But when we had them together, they were not bonded like they tend to fight a bit, but not in a malicious way. It's like if Stoli gets to near Tina, she like swipes at her. So we just let the shelter know that and they're like, okay, we're going to try this. And here we are, only Stoli is here and she's sleeping. And okay, so this is what it looks like. You have the rough outline. Doesn't matter if it's perfect. Uh, I prefer if the top is jagged, but the example that I've uh, shown in the pictures is that it's straight, but I, it's up to you. And this is the next exciting part, personally, my opinion, is the washi tape part. So I'm using this very clear washi tape so that I can see the pencil lines behind. And I'm just going to lay it over as such. Ooh. 
10.25 a.m. in Arizona. That's where Melanie is at. 9.26 a.m. in San Diego in the West Coast. I really do want to go to the West Coast one day. I feel like there'll be a very exciting road trip for me. I've heard of many people doing road trips up and down the West Coast, and I think that's something that I do want to do one day. Okay. So you can see, uh, I don't know if it's visible on the camera. If it's not, I apologize. But the pencil lines are visible behind the washi tape that I'm using here. That's why I chose a clear one. If you don't have a clear one, uh, maybe choose something that is... Uh, the normal white paper tape should work, if you know what I'm talking about. Let me try to just... Okay. All right, so now comes the dangerous bit. So be very careful at this stage over here. We're going to be using, what's this? A pen knife or a box cutter knife to cut along all of the borders. So this part might take quite a bit. So I'm just going to very carefully do it and hope that no accidents happen. Of course, if you cannot, it's also fine. I usually just like, okay, try to follow the shape. And sometimes I cut into the paper also, but it's fine because in the end, the border cannot be seen because of the painting that you're doing afterwards. Oh, cool. I didn't know. Russia celebrates Mother's Day on 28th of November. Yes, Happy Women's Day is such a good idea. Oh my gosh, I have done a Women's Day card. No, no, it's okay. So if you're wondering why I'm doing a Mother's Day card, uh, it is going to be Mother's Day in the UK next week and I was like, hey, I should just get on the curve and do something Mother's Day related and US Mother's Day is in May. So I thought like, hey, it feels like a good time, you know, if I want to do another tutorial in the future, then at least I have this as practice. So thank you so much again for being here. Oh, oh you see, I, I'm like just roughly trying to follow. But of course, if you cannot follow, it's fine. I also prefer to actually turn the paper around, but I have it uh, double taped to my board here. So that's why I am not turning the paper, but it's definitely easier if you turn the paper around and cut as you go. I'm at this stage of my life, I'm turning 30 this year, where all my friends on social media are becoming moms, which is so exciting. And they're having like their first, second, third child. <laughs> I am not a mom yet, but hopefully I will be in the future. Oh, let me see. Let me just try to cut. Sorry, I need to focus on the cutting. So if I'm not talking, I'm just trying to make sure I don't cut myself. You know, we, we don't want to see a live accident happen, but I don't know. I kind of think it'll be funny. Okay, no, no, no. I, it won't happen. It won't happen. <laughs> Uh, I feel like I'm already cutting into the paper because I feel like I'm using more force. I'm usually a bit more light-handed and then I'll go... Uh, I, I, I won't usually use this much force, but I'm just hoping that it will st still turn out pretty neat. Ooh, okay, I need to move my ink bottles because my hand is good. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to go straight because clearly these curvy lines are not working. Uh, okay. Is anything below the paper? Uh, no. Because this is like my craft board. It's it's not the table itself. So this is actually fine if I gash into, gash into it. But of course, yes, if you are working with a pen knife, it's good to have a protective board behind it. Thanks for reminding. All right, so now we're going to go to the fun part. For me personally, is the peeling part. Okay, so this is, I hope, I hope it works well. Whoa! Okay, no, oh, oh, that was a fail. Oh. Yes. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna open it up. 
Hello, oh, okay. Yes! Oh my goodness, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Very satisfying. Yeah. This is really my favorite part of the washi process. Yay! Even if the shape is not perfect, it's fine. <laughs> Thank you, Shrad. Is that your name? Letting me uh, let me know if Shrad is your name or if I'm pronouncing it properly. But yay! Thank you so much for watching my videos. I have to also remind myself that not everyone watches every video, so um I will be repeating some things, you know. Uh, every now and then, but yeah, I thank you so much for remembering uh, what I have mentioned. Yeah, okay, hold on. Okay, all right, so this is a washi tape. Uh, if you want to erase the pencil lines behind, you may do so, or you can do it later on when you are done with the painting. Uh, I just prefer to go over it just in case I can remove any of the pencil lines because now I don't have the ink of the paints to worry about. Whew, okay, we are halfway in the process because all we're left with is now the painting. <gasps> Yoshiko, hello! I love Yoshiko as well. Calligraph fusion. I love that word. <laughs> so, <clears throat> sorry, I need to drink water. Okay, let's all take a sip of water or tea. Okay. Where was I? All right, okay, roses. <laughs> okay, so this is the rose that I'll be painting. Uh, I'm just gonna take out, open up my ink bottles. What I'll do is usually um, put some ink in the lid and then I'll cover it up later on. Oh, this one is a bit hard to open. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I cannot open it. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess we're not using this color then. Never mind. <laughs> okay, I cannot open this bottle. Maybe I'll try in like two minutes. But anyway, these are the three colors that I'm using. They're like light pink. Um, this is like a purple violet. Okay, so this is the light pink. This is the purple violet. And then this is more of the purple purple you can choose any sort of colors that you want but i thought i should just do a demo of how i paint my roses this is by no means i call myself an um, expert this is just my process over the many years of trying to do watercolor roses so i always start off in the middle with splotches okay so okay let me just move again let me just show you what the splotches look like okay so like like splotches you know like the beginnings of a flower and then slowly i'll gradually make small crescents like that and then as i go oh adds on my video please hold <laughs> oh it's an ad for tea that's interesting because i love tea all right, we'll move back on with the music. Okay, so you can see my crescents are gradually getting bigger and bigger. There you go. This is me being very careful. Later on in the painting, I'll just go for it, okay? So I probably won't be as careful. Yeah. There you go, see? It's like sort of shaping into a flower. And I'll have the petals, oops, sorry, that was on my bed because my brush got caught on the wire. I'll usually uh, either keep it this size or even go one step bigger, you know, like if you're happy with this, by all means, but I'll just usually go like even bigger than that. And then maybe use a bit of water just so that it appears lighter. Oops, that's too light. That's too light, that is. The way I learn is either by watching other people do it or I'll try to imitate it on my own and then try to see what um, what works for me. So sometimes somebody says, oh, do this and then do this and then I'm like, oh, no, that's a bit hard or because 
I don't have the proper brush for it, like maybe a dagger brush. So I'll just try to adapt it towards the materials I have. So this is what my process looks like now. Yes, I did eat my spinach. I'm so sorry. I couldn't open the bottle of um, green paint. I, I hope I can open it by the time I need to use it, man. <laughs> okay, so you see, it's a very light wash. So this is like the first layer first. And the good thing about using um, inks like this is that it does dry pretty fast. If you don't have inks, you can actually do the same with brush pens. Just... Um, I don't know, like if you, oh my goodness. Okay, so if you have a brush pen, all you need to do is to use like a plastic surface, like, hold on. Like if you have a tin like this, then, okay, this is black, but I just want to show you an example. You can just like press the marker and then use your brush to pick up the color and do the painting as well. So that's something you can do with brush pens. It's just that for my own comfort level, <laughs> I prefer to use watercolor inks. Okay, so it's more or less dry. The next thing I'm going to do is to make the middle parts darker. So what I'll do is actually pick the next color here. Um, let me see if I can. I'm, I'm like picking the ends of the bottle just so I don't get it too saturated. Oh, good job. There you go. And then just drop a bit of color there just to make it look interesting, you know. Mm. And this is just for the middle part over here. If you're interested to learn florals, I recommend uh, checking out Erin Snowberry Designs. I think she also has a YouTube channel. Uh, I did a few of the tutorials where she did the bouquets and the wreaths. So she's one of the teachers that I learned from. And this technique of making the inside a bit darker i think it's from her but i'm not sure because i have seen other teachers teach it before as well and okay oh my gosh i think i went too dark but it's okay but you get the idea i'm realizing the color looks a bit different i'm not sure why but it's okay if you don't want to do this middle part also is fine you can just leave it as it was before i added the color later on and then of course for the leaves okay now i need to try and open it again hold on give me a minute hi <laughs> oh, I did it, Yahi. I ate my spinach. <laughs> okay, so for the leaves, it's actually very simple. If you have a round brush like this, this is a size 4 round brush from the Pigeon Letters. For the leaves, you just, um, how do they describe it? Just draw this shape. <laughs> what is this shape? This looks like an eyebrow to me. Anyway. Then draw the other half of the leaf. There you go, one leaf, done. And I try to make the ends pointy. Should we just call this eyebrows from now on? One side of the eyebrow, and then the other side of the eyebrow. Yes, then you want to have like equal, but not really equal eyebrows. You can choose to color the insides, or you can choose to color everything, like you want to cover up the hole, also can. It's up to you. So that's how I draw my leaves. Okay, so now that we have an idea of how I drew my roses, this uh, I'm going to do the same to the entire piece. So I'm just going to have to take out some of the color. Hold on, this my defect. Oh, my hand is going to come. Okay, so I'm going to put some color there. Put some color there. Oh my gosh, bubbles. Okay. Oh my, it's fine, it's fine. Hi, Rochelle. I'm just seeing your comment now. Hello, hello. Giovanni, hello. Miss Lettering, hello. Thank you so much for joining me live. Let me see the comments. Yay, thank you so much, The Right House. I need to know your name, The Right House. I see your comment. I see your Instagram account. If you have your name, I can know who you are. 
<laughs> okay, so let's get started with the flowers. Okay, so actually, wait, let's not get started with the flowers. I just want to share with you some things first. So something that I like to do is to make sure that things are proportionate. So one thing that I do is to create a border at the top and the bottom, just so that I know that I won't exceed it or make the, what is it? Make the flowers unbalanced. So... I'm just going to take a pencil. This is, of course, optional, but like I said, I'm just going to show you what my thinking process is like as I make this card over here. I'm just going to draw two lines at the top and the bottom so that I know that I have this space to work with, I have this very little space to work with, I have this space, this space, this space. It's okay if it's not equal, like I said, this is just a guide for me, myself, to know that, okay, try your best to not exceed these lines over here. And oh yeah, how to fit flowers here? I'll show you how later on. Okay, so the first flower I'm gonna use the like pink. I'm gonna make it here. Oh wow, this is a huge flower. This is gonna be a huge flower, guys. Because these splotches are very big. Am I using a bigger brush? No, this is the same brush I use. Let me know if it's going too fast. If you want me to slow down or explain, uh, I'll try my best to break this down in steps. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't realize that you changed your name, but hello. It's so amazing how in this lettering community, you can really connect with a lot of people from did not think this was possible before lettering. I was stuck in my own little bubble when I was in Singapore. I was like, oh, that happens. You get to meet people from all over the world, and it's amazing. Okay, so you can see that I'm slowly like getting bigger and bigger, and I think this will be my last bit of... Uh, yeah, so it's okay if you go over the line of it. It's perfectly fine. But I just want to show you what it looks like, okay? And then there's one flower there, and I'm going to put one flower here. Usually, I like to work in opposites. So just go with the crescent shape. Doesn't matter if it's perfect because in the end of the day, you know, people don't analyze one flower at a time, you know, they try to look at the broad picture and if the broad picture, your roses are all even and you're fine, you're, you're fine, don't worry. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Just try to make it a bit like flowery with the roundness of it. There you go. Go oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. See, you have to compliment yourself or you have to have this kind of weird confidence <laughs> when it comes to painting. I'm just going to go on to the second color and then I'll go back to the other color if I need to. I'm going to do here. So the idea is that I want the petals to overlap with the washi tape so that it looks like the words are popping out. Ugh, this is horrible. It's okay, it's okay, but this is not doesn't have to be perfect, just do your best. Another YouTuber that you can watch if you want to learn what the color flowers is Shada Campbell. Her, oh, her, vi her videos are really good. She's pretty big on YouTube and I, her lessons are really easy to follow. Although I do have to slow them down a bit, but I think that's the nature of YouTube videos. You know, like you cannot just watch it once, you have to watch it a few times. We get the hang of it, so this is what it looks like. Hmm, should I overlap? Okay, maybe I won't overlap. I'll just leave it as this. Way. Okay, and then I usually work color by color, and then since this is going here, I'm gonna I'm gonna just do one. Oh no, I just realized that I have not updated the link on my Instagram, but it's okay. It's okay, you guys are here. The ones who know how to find me are here, so that makes me happy. There you go. See? Roses. And you know what? This is supposed to be abstract, right? So it's not supposed to be perfect. It's abstract. 
Okay. I prefer the color to be a bit lighter, but it's okay. I'm just gonna have to live with it. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't know why, I was thinking of the word crescent earlier. And fun fact, I went to a school uh, in my secondary years. So this is like high school level. Uh, it's uh, The school name is called Crescent Girls School. So I was like, huh, I miss Crescent. Like it's a phase of my life that I'm glad I went through, you know, going to an all girls school. That's also where I met my best friend, Shira. Ashira's probably not going to watch this. It's like really late right now in Singapore. So <laughs> I don't know if uh, she'll watch me. But I just had a random thought and memory. Okay. Should I go in the opposite direction? I feel like... Or oh, where I'm getting I'm playing the song from, I'll put that link uh, once this video is finished. So don't worry, this is called Animal Crossing Lo Fi Chill Hot Mix, which, like I said earlier, is to help to empty the silences in between. But then you have ads, so you'll randomly hear an ad now and then. So. Okay. I'm going to overlap a bit. Oh, I need more water. Mm, okay. So I'm trying to see if I can fit two roses here. So because of the color sequence, it's like dark pink, light pink, purple. So dark pink, light pink, purple. Okay, let's do it. So this one will definitely be a bit smaller, like a bit, yeah, a bit weird. It's fine, and then light pink. Okay, I'm just gonna lay it like that. And then same over here. Pink, I think I need a purple, light pink, purple. So I need to fit three colors over here. So this is roughly just my thoughts when I'm doing my own painting or lettering. Like, okay, how can I balance it out? How can I balance it out? And then I ask myself these questions, I plan ahead. So all these are just like, you know, like, hey, it's nice to see what other people's creative process is like. Oh, okay. Never mind. It's okay if it goes over a bit. It's just this one bit that had paint run away. Okay. Just a little bit like that. Okay. The side here is a bit challenging because of. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna run it. Oh, thank you so much, Shrads. Thank you so much uh, for all the nice comments. I feel much more comfortable, guys. <laughs> Such a day and night difference from when I first started. Like, ah! Okay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Hold on. So 
of this will be like the smallest flower or it's like barely visible. But I just want the, the color to even out, you know, so that it's like, oh, oh, oh it's not even out. <laughs> What have I done? It's okay. It's okay. You realize I'm doing purple, pink, purple. Oh no. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Okay. I'm just going to stop here and then I'm going to uh, darken the middles of the roses. Let's see if we can just use the same pink. Yeah. Thank you so much, Anushka. Thank you, Yahi. It's alright. I don't know why I talk to Yahi in a different register. Like, hey. Okay, so I know in the early example I used a different color, but I didn't really like how that looked out, how that turned out. So I'm just gonna use the same color but more saturated so when i painted this they were all uh, diluted with a bit of water so now i'm just using the paint directly and hopefully this will create like a different um layer when of color once it's dry And I know the video quality is a bit poor because of um, I'm using a phone. I'm not using a camera, so that is definitely one of my like considerations when it comes to doing live. Hopefully, in the future, I can afford to get a camera that enables this like better live stream quality. And then the tutorials will hopefully also be much more high definition. But for now, you know what my mantra is: work with what you have. Don't need to stop yourself just because you don't have something correct or not. So this is what I'm doing. I'm working with what I have. And what I have is a Samsung camera. Samsung camera? No, Samsung phone. Um, I have a mic plugged in. This is why you can hear me very clearly, which I think is important to me. And yeah, I have my MacBook. And I have Google to help me figure out how to do my live stream. So work with what you have. Gorgeous, darling. Gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry, you know, this is really what goes through my head. I am like really my own hype man <laughs> sometimes. Because who am I going to ask? Is this nice or not? I have to ask myself and I have to respond to myself. Yes, this is nice, that is Well done. We're almost done. After we draw the leaves, we can peel and be revealing the final outcome. <laughs> thank you so much, Melanie. Hufflepuff channels. Yahi. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, guys, for watching and keeping me company. Okay. Okay, last last color to make the middles darker then we are more or less on oh yeah we need to do the leaves i was gonna say more or less done and then i'm like no nope, we're not done i'm probably gonna watch back and be like at least i can't believe you said that but i don't know if you guys catch me say anything wrong like i said apologies this is my first time What song is this? Okay, I have no idea. <laughs> but this song, this playlist is an hour long and I'm actually almost at the hour mark. I have seven minutes to go. So I'm going to aim to try and finish within that seven minutes. Oh my gosh, I'm just... Gonna wing it, wing it, yes. Crescent, crescent, crescent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ah, I don't need to do that one. Okay, you know what? Last but not least, we are going to be doing the leaves. Hi, Nimra, thank you so much for joining the live. I can see 10 people here. Oh my gosh, so exciting. 10 people are here. 
Okay, how do we do this? Leaves, okay. So leaves, I will usually use it to empty up the spaces and also try to balance it out. So here is like an empty space. So I'm just gonna draw one leaf first. I cannot decide, one leaf or two leaf? Should I draw two leaf? I'll draw two leaves. Okay, go for it, go for it. Never mind, no hesitation. There you go, perfection. Mm -hmm. And then second leaf. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Overlap a bit, never mind. It's okay. It's okay. Yes. Oh, oh no, what have I done? It's okay, it's okay. All right, first leaf done. And then usually I'll go in the opposite direction. <laughs> like I said, I work in like opposites. You know, if it's balanced out, I can make it work. There you go. Yeah, but why is it? Like, I want it to be skewed a bit. So, some bunches I have one leaf, some bunches I have two leaves, some have the whole, some don't have. Some will not even be visible, it'll be behind of the flower, like over here. I might, it might look like I'm going overboard, but it's just me trying to tell myself, okay, fill up this hole, fill up this hole, fill up this hole. So that's what I'm doing right now. Now I'll just do one over here. Small, tiny, weeny leaf. Oh wait, I have a gap up here. So once again, it's okay if you uh, trespass the border. It's fine. Does it look balanced? Actually, it looks kind of balanced, huh? Okay, like fishy, not bad. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add some leaves here. Just, 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 just cause, just cause, no reason. Just, just what I want to do. So this one, I go by eye. So if your painting looks different from mine, it's fine. Just make sure it looks balanced. By balance, I mean like, okay, it's not like too condensed on one side or too heavy on one side. Hmm. Okay, okay, we're almost done, we're almost done. Okay, Ooh. Okay, so now we want the paint to dry. Of course, you can just let it dry as it is. What I prefer to do is to use my trusty, rusty heat gun. So hopefully make it dry faster. And then you can see the way it will um, peel. It is very, very satisfying. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you so much. Yay! I'm so glad you like it. You, you kind of can see it already, right? It looks really cool, right? Hi, Ananya. I see your comment. Thank you so much for coming. Yay! We are almost towards the end of the live stream. So uh, again, thank you so much if you're watching it live. If you're watching the replay, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, this is roughly how I how I make a Mother's Day card. This is my full process. Should I really wait for it to dry? Should I just go for it? Like, should I just peel before it's dry? No, no. I should wait until it's dry. Come on, dry faster. Okay. While some parts are still drying, <laughs> I'm going to erase uh, the pencil lines at the top and bottom if it's still visible. Just very, very carefully. In case there's still some wet patches, I'm trying to be very, very careful. Oh, 
Yes. Sometimes the pencil lines can be erased. Oh my gosh. Why is the sun visible over here? Hello. Where is the sun coming from? Oh. Uh, I think this is a sign for me to finish soon. Yay, magic colors! Yes, I'm live! All right, now to the grand reveal. Let me close my ink bottles first because accidents happen and I am very accident prone. Close it. There you go. Okay. Yeah, I got color. All right. So now to our favorite part of the entire process, which is the washi tape reveal. Okay. So uh, you can use a pencil. I'm just going to use a pen knife I used earlier and very carefully try to pick up the ends of the washi tape. Luckily for me, this washi tape is wow. <laughs> This washi tape is not sticky at all. So this is uh, really easy. Oh my gosh, why am I so scared? Yes. <gasps> Look at it. Yay. Oh my gosh, it's so smooth, the washi tape feel. <laughs> I'm complimenting myself on the washi tape feel. And there you go. So if you still have any of the eraser marks, just slowly erase. You know, you don't want to smudge. I'm just going to very quickly erase the ones that I think are visible. Oh, I just smudge. How? Okay. So if you accidentally smudge a uh, pro tip, let me try to get it. Hold on. You can get this uh, sand eraser and it says here for ink. So this actually does work. So very carefully, because the ink that smudged was the combo ink, was it the pencil ink? It will remove a layer of the paper, but at the same time, it does remove the black ink, which is more annoying. And because I don't want to smudge again with my finger, I'm just going to use a brush to like, bye, bye, bye. Okay, there you go. So, sand ink eraser. I'll, I did not include this link down below, but I definitely will later on. Give me a minute, I have to plug. Okay, so I'm just gonna carefully erase the border if there's any more pencil lines. But yes, if you use washi tape, really the peeling part is definitely my favorite part of all. It's okay if the lines are still visible, but this is what it looks like. Something you can do if you want to add on, you want uh, like if you don't like the way the border looks, you can add a gold outline throughout, and then it looks more regal. That's something that you can do, or you can just leave it as is. I just I'm just gonna leave it as is because we have come to the end of the live stream. I'm gonna do some music. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. If you have been watching this live, thank you so much. Sharon, Magic underscore Colors 5, Ananya, hello, Yoshiko, thank you so much, Melanie, Yahi, thank you very, uh, thank you really for understanding all the difficulties I was going through in the beginning, if you were there, if not, it's okay, it didn't happen, and if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, once again, I have to remind you because then the YouTube, Instagram, uh, YouTube, Instagram, the YouTube algorithm will be like, oh, people like it, okay, I must promote it. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. I'm so sorry you cannot see my face, but you can see my hands. Maybe one day I'll set it up such that you can see my face as I'm doing this tutorial. If you tried this tutorial, tag me on Instagram and uh, at Made by Mutiara, that's my Instagram handle. I really appreciate everyone's support and I'm just gonna go now, so thank you so much. I'm giving myself a clap, but if you're at home, you can get with me also, but thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you on Instagram. You can see what my final thoughts are later on, okay? All right.
Thank you. Thank you, everyone.